hello to the paper ladies and the paper crafters. I tried to um, do another video about this, but everything I did was off the camera. So we'll try it again. Um, okay, I got this cool project. I'm kind of becoming obsessed with packaging candy and chocolates and everything for um, for a major holiday so I can sell them in my shop. Um, so I decided that it would be really fun to do some uh, packages of peeps. So I've got these traditional peeps, chicks, and then I got the little bunnies too. Um, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I package those today. Put those aside. Actually, no, we need one, we need this. So here's one of the finished products. Um, so it's got layers of paper, vintage doilies, uh, satin ribbon, and uh, it's just a really cute little quick project. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is measure this. And this is one of those situations that I have ke I've kept measuring over and over and over again like and then had to write it down and and i still don't know how big this thing is so i'm just gonna check here what do we got i think it's 6.5 yeah so we're doing 6.5 by 5 so we're gonna put a backdrop a background i have um some really beautiful paper i've got this collector's essential kit this is bunnies and blooms by simple stories i picked this up at scrap of paradise uh which is the kingston's paper crafting store harry and minnie love going there they go in there harry just does his own thing um so this is a really beautiful set it came with a roll of washi tape and it came with uh, some chipboard stickers as well as some um, ephemera. Sometimes my friend Laura gets the word ephemera stuck in her head because I say it so often. And then she messages me and tells me that. Um, so this I just was a stamp and I colored it out. Uh, uh, colored it and then I cut it out using my pinking shears. Um, so I do have pinking shears for paper so all of you sewers out there don't worry um i i do have real pinking shears but these ones are for paper um so this is just part of the simple stories ephemera pack um and uh look at bloom where you're planted look at that bunny so we're gonna just layer some stuff okay i'm uh i'm an amateur layerer there are some paper ladies that are just like so crazy with their layering. Minnie, what is it that you want? You've already had your supper. You've got a second supper that you can help yourself to right there. How many suppers does this thing need? Well, I need as many suppers as you're gonna give me actually. Okay, Minnie, I'm doing a video right now, okay? All right, so we need paper. We need the paper. So I'm gonna bust out this all this collection here uh, these are the stickers that come with it maybe I'll use one of these so I can show you what I do with those and then we need uh, those are the chipboard so a chipboard is just a thicker harder sticker uh, what do we got what do we got sometimes I cheat and I cut these out and I cut these out and then I add it to a card base and I put some ribbon and I do feel like it's cheating. People are like, oh, it's so beautiful. And I'm like, I just cut it out. Um, but then I often add my obnoxious ribbon. I'm well known for these obnoxious ribbon cards. That's what I call them, where I put a giant ribbon on things. Okay, we got that. And you know, all this stuff is double sided too. So you got to decide. If you're going to sacrifice something or not. Ooh, those rainbows. But do I want to sacrifice this? I don't know. And then this has tags. I don't want to sacrifice that. Uh, what do we got here? Let's. Go, we're going to go for the eggs. We're going to go for the eggs. Okay, so now I'm going to just cut this. I treated myself to this uh, paper cutter for Christmas. And I'm still trying to... Get, get used to where the actual cut is going to lie but you have to line it up to your inch marks over here or else you just can't get it right so I'm going to put it right on the 12 inch line down here I'm just going to cut that branding off um, 
Where did that branding go? It just like disappeared. Oh, here it is. This can be fun too. Like this is a little piece that you can use for something. So you could keep that. Um, okay, so I need this to be six and a half. My material caddy, my tool caddies there. So six and a half by five, basically. Now I want a little bit of the package to be shown, so I'm gonna knock this off a quarter of an inch and cut that, so satisfying. And I'm gonna try and do this quickly because there are dogs barking and I have water on the stove. So I'm gonna knock that off a quarter of an inch. Okay, this is our situation. We got that. Now I'm gonna bust out some of my double-sided tape um, this is Sukwang, which is uh, made in Korea. It's the best double-sided tape that you can get on the market. And it comes in all different um, widths as well. Listen to that. This is what my life is. Uh, oh, you know what he wants? He wants to get up on the bed. Sultan Harry. I've stopped calling him Prince or King because it's not like worldly enough. And now he wants up on the bed. Hang on one sec. Harry. You're bossy, okay? You really are bossy. What? I'm the boss. That's what I'm doing to being the boss. So nosy. Okay, let me check this. Okay. All right. So I got my double-sided tape, and that just peels right off. If you're having a hard time pulling it off, just rub your fingernail on the end. There's too many dogs here. Driving me nuts. All right. All right, so we got our eggs. Um, it's not really dimensional, maybe a little bit, or directional rather. All right, I'm gonna put this on. I want an even border around the edges. The other thing that, oh, I don't wanna see that gluten-free thing. Just out of spite, maybe. <laughs> Um, the other thing that would be really cute is if you pinked the edges of all of this. There. Okay. Okay, we're going to go for that. Now, um, I was going to use a big vintage doily, but I think that's too much white. So I'm going to grab some of this beautiful teal ribbon. Look at this. And then I'm just going to make a bow here. Oh, Minnie just walked into something. All right. I never take my ribbon off of the bolt. I just leave the bolt to hang out over there. All right, so people have a hard time with ribbon. So you go like this, and then you pretend you're tying your shoe. And you go around like this, and just... Just make a bow, like a crummy bow. And now people are like, that doesn't even look nice. And then they're discouraged because their bows don't look nice. But you know what? This isn't finished. You want to just get this done. Just do that. And then you're going to go back in after and fix it. Because you can pull those tails out and then you can fix the loop. So what I like to do is make sure that my, my loops have nice structure to them. We go and I can keep making these bigger I can make them smaller um, but I do like to make them big like I said I like what I call obnoxious ribbon um, and then um, you're gonna want to finish those ends as well so if you want to do a point you fold it in half and you cut down towards the folded piece like that now sometimes if I'm doing like a kind of elaborate project I won't finish the ribbon until the end because I want it to be perfect and I find sometimes it can stray, uh, fray if you're doing too much with it. Okay, that's what we got. We got that. Okay, now let's bust out some of that ephemera. Uh, where did I put that? I have so much beautiful china that I've just started using it for my paper crafting, for little trays, for my garbage bin. All right, what do we got here? This is cute. This is cute. Flowers, butterflies, rain boots, spring showers. Oh, yeah. Okay, we've got that. What else do we have? What? Oh, oh, that's good. That is good. 
any little tags. I think I used my tags already. What's that? That's cute. Okay, I'm going to just go for that. Um, I kind of wish I would have colored a doily. You know what? Maybe should I do a doily? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, and where's my thing of stickers? Okay. What do we have here? Oh, I like this basket. Okay. We've got that. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to tuck that in there like that. And then, um, where are those? Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, I've got this. I've got all these bunnies that I colored. So I might add one of those maybe. Hmm, I don't know. You're probably thinking to yourself, why didn't she figure this out before she started this situation? But you know how it is. Maybe I'll use one of these. Mm. Oh, it's all so nice. What should we use, Minnie? Mm, I don't know what she's using. Oh, yeah, and I want to use that, too. Okay. 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 So I'm going to give myself a bit more space. I'm going to move this down. Okay. Then I'm going to put that in there. Nope. I'm going to put this in here like that. And then I'm going to put this, this thing right here. Now, if I want to use one of these stickers, I don't just like attach it because you know I want to pop it up. But if you use um, dimensionals, which is a type of adhesive, um, then this is still sticky on the back. So let's say you put uh, a dimensional here, 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 and here. If something happens to touch the top of your project, the center would get stuck down. So it'll be like that on your page and you're not gonna have the dimension that you want. So what I do is I take my embossing buddy, this is a Stampin' Up product, and it's filled with powder. And I just coat the back of it with this powder and it takes away the stickiness. Someone's licking my foot here. Who's doing that down there? Well, you know who it is. It's Minnie. That's too much white. What else do we have that's more colorful? Maybe this. Oh yeah, yeah, look at look at that. Okay, we got Bloom Where You're Planted. We've gonna, we're gonna have this sticker, which we're gonna pop up here. Oh God, that's good. Okay. All right, where are my dimensionals? They're in my little caddy here. Okay, a dimensional is a Stampin' Up! product. It is one of the best products they have. They come in two sizes. This is the large one. There's also a small mini one. Um, I find them too tiny and they take too long to grab, so I'm just not into it. So it's got thickness to it. It's double-sided. Um, and uh, yeah, and then you can just keep popping things up here. Minnie, I'm doing paper lady stuff, okay? Just wait. My mom's annoying, ignoring me, and abusing me, and is not doing holdings of me. I don't know if you've seen any of Harry and Minnie's videos, but you should watch them. Okay, I'm going to put this up here with on my dimensionals. See how it's popped up? And then I think I'm going to glue this flower. I have this uh, Mono Tombow liquid glue. Um, it's really good. I could also use... Um, my tear tape for this, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and glue it. Like that. Okay. Where we wanna put this? I'm gonna put that right there. And then we've got this sticker that I took the adhesive down on the back. So I just put three of those like that, like that, and then I'm going to tuck this in here. 
like this. And then I'm thinking there was a couple of other words that we could add here. Easter. What do we got? What do we got? Sunshine. That could be cute. Uh, oh, funny bunny. I just want one of those long ones. I could use a sticker too, actually. There's a bunch of them. Oh, there's a happy spring one. Let's bust that out. So this is another sticker. Yep. Oh, I'm going to use them both. I'm going to do that, tuck that in there, and then I'm going to put the Easter on the bottom. Okay, where's my embossing buddy here? So I'm going to unstick it so I can pop it up. Pretty much my whole life is listening to barking. Um, I don't know why she does it. She does barking. All right. I gotta go get her. Really what she wants is for me to hold her all the time, which can be challenging, so, but I'm almost done this. Okay, I'm gonna put this happy spring in here. I think that's all I'm gonna do, actually. Yeah. But do I want this also, just to really junk it up, you know? No, that's it. I'm gonna call that done. I'm going to call that done. I'm going to call it a day. Call it done. Um, yeah, so that's just a cute little project. I'm going to sell that in my store. And um, it's just so easy to decorate candy and make it just so much cuter, you know? So, yeah, and again, that's uh, Simple Stories, Bunnies and Blooms. It is a really beautiful set. And I got that at uh, Scrap of Paradise. So, so I have those available. And um, that's how you make them. All right, I will check back in.